Hey, this is Adam Cabrera coming to you live from Manassas, Virginia. I'm back. <laughs> I tried this software that I was trying to work with. I thought it could give me screen share and um, my, you know, me at the same time. But I guess that's not working. So I'm just going to do my screen share because I want to share this information with you about how to choose a master node and what a master node is. And um, because that is the latest rage right now is master nodes. And I want you to go to... Um, this website uh, called masternodes.online. And masternodes.online basically is going to tell you, show you the various masternodes that are available. There are hundreds of masternodes available. Hey, Brian, how you doing? Thanks for watching. And, and Mike, all right, yeah. Um, so, I'm hoping, right, okay, so we are now on masternodes.online. And here, you can see, this is where you would choose, you see they have hundreds, maybe thousands, just hundreds, I guess a couple of hundred masternodes. This is one site that you could go to there. There's another one called uh, Masternodes Pro, but we're gonna use this one because basically what you're gonna do here is you're going to look you, before you choose a master node, of course, everybody wants to know what is the return on investment, the ROI. Here I'm going to show you, I'm going to use Vinox as an example as what the ROI would be for this particular master node because each master node is different. Okay, so let's start with what everybody wants to know. How much money do you make when you hold this master node? All right, so first of all, let's take a look at what you know where this started and where it's gone. You can see here the graph that this started around five cents and it's gone down, up and down, up and down. You know, at this point now we're around uh, four cents, and you can see that right here that the price is a little over four cents. So this is the price. Uh, you want to look at the volume. You want to look at the market cap. But let's see, we need, this is what is required to hold this particular master node. You need 10,000 VNOX. And with 10,000 VNOX, basically it's gonna cost you about $448. That's one master node, you have 10,000 coins. How much money do you make back from that? Let's take a look up here. Over here, you'll be making $2.88 per day. You'll be making $20 a week, I'm gonna round this off, and $86 per month, which comes out to about $1,052 per year. Now, that might not sound like a lot of money to you, but think about it. If you, if you compound this, right, it says here, we look, this is the ROI, annual ROI. It takes about 156 days. That's basically like, um, uh, what is it, uh, five months, excuse me, five months to, to get basically your money back to make the $400. If you think about it, $86, 86 times uh, five is like $430, okay? So there you would get, you every five months, you would earn your money back. But if you compounded that every time you earn and you bought another um, master node and another master node, and so you have several master nodes all working for you simultaneously. If you have two master nodes, you're now making $170 a month. You have three, multiply that 86 times three times four times five. You could do this, you know, as, as much as, as you want. So that's where the, the power in compounding comes. So how do we know if this is a good master node? That's very important. Look at the links over here, the announcements the websites, you want to see if this thing is on various um, social medias, like this is a social media telegram, Discord is another social media, Twitter. You wanna see if people are really buying into this. You wanna see if this is on different exchanges. This is only on one exchange, Crypto Bridge. So you want it to be on a couple of exchanges because this is where people will buy and sell these. Hey Michelle, how you doing? Thanks for watching. So now that's that's the first thing. You come here to get a general idea as to what it's about. 
Now, go directly to their website. Go right here. This is will be their website. I'm on the website here. And this is what Venox is all about. Learn what it's about. Most cryptocurrencies have, or when they're starting out, they have what's called a white paper. This is, Venox has a white paper. Look at the, the website. Is it a nice website? Is it a cheap old website? This looks like a real nice website. Has a lot of information, right? It tells you how to download stuff. I'm gonna go back to this in a minute. I just wanna show you how nice the website is. But before that, you look at the website, pretty nice website. Let's go to their white paper. Here is their white paper. A white paper is like a proposal and it tells you everything about that particular coin. So here it is, what is it? what's Venox? What is the what is the theory? You know, it's theory, why is it proof of stake? All these here's the, the you know the um, table of contents so you can see. Very important. Well, I'll go back to that in a second. Wait, that I jumped, I kind of jumped ahead. I kind of jumped ahead on that. Okay, let's go back. So we go from the contents. Let's take a quick look. What is Venox? You know, they're basically it's a proof of stake, which means that you want to you want to be able to um, they you want to prove that you have the coins. That's proof of stake. Okay, it has fast transactions. Everything now has got to have fast transactions because that's one of the major problems with Bitcoin. So this is what proof of stake is. They want to make make sure that you do own the coins that you do have them. They're going to be on mobile. They're going to be running all kinds of uh, features on mobile. They're going to have the master node. They're going to monitor the master node on mobile, which is really nice. Uh, you have other ways that other. They're going to have a, a card, a coin card, so you can buy. Here you can go, gift. Uh, use gift uh, shopping with this. You know you can use this anywhere. Employee gifts has. It's going to make sure they know your identity. You must know your identity. And here is the crux of it. This is going to be a casino coin. So you could use this in the casinos or you could use this for gaming. And that's very powerful and very, very uh, useful. You know, so that's one of the things you want to you want to make sure that a coin has purpose, that it has use, that it's not just created because you know, somebody decided they just wanted to create a coin, right? Because then, you know, if, if it doesn't have any use or any purpose, no one is going to use it. And that's very important to know that it has a social media, has a social media presence that people know about it. People are using it. People are trading it. People, are, you know, are, are um, uh, know all about it, you know? That's very important. If we continue down... Here you have a roadmap, so it's telling you what it's gonna, what are, uh, how it's gonna progress in the next uh, in the, for the next year and into the first four quarters and into 2019. All right, it's gonna be a point of sale coin. Again, I'm just going through this real quick so you can see what the resources are. So that's a pretty pretty interesting coin here. You can see that on Facebook. If you click these buttons, you can see them on Twitter, Reddit, Discord, Bitcoin Talk, web, their website. So let's go back to their website because on their website, that's some very interesting things. So again, you want to know what what is the VNOX? Why should you invest in this coin? You know, so you want passive income, something that's very important. Here you go, that it's going to be casino. They're gonna tell you what it's gonna, how it's going to develop as time goes on. That's very important. How do you download a master node, right? So in case you're in Windows, you download through here. If you're on a Mac, you download this. You want to download their wallet, so you want to see what their wallet is like, and you want to go through there. And now, you also want to see who are the the who are the owners here. So you want to make sure that they have a development team, that they have people who are working, that they have people who are really interested in this. You know, so this is just one coin out of hundreds of coins. And that's how you basically uh, want to evaluate them. You want to make sure that 
uh, again, that they have a community, that they have a development team, that they have a solid purpose and a use for the coin, because you want this coin to be last long lasting. Otherwise, you don't want to put money into this where you know it's going to fold in a, in a year or, or less, right? And most of these coins are solid. This one is a solid coin, and you can really work with this. So that's a quick intro into what a master node is and how to uh, how to evaluate a master node. So this is Edwin Cabrera signing off here in Manassas, Virginia. Have a great day. Bye.